Uh, now we have actually a special announcement from Gaza's only startup accelerator. Uh, Eliana Montag, uh, the director of Gaza Sky Geeks, is with us. Eliana is a Harvard alum who worked at Google, a consulting company and microfinance organization, moved to Jordan in 2012 to help launch Wamda's research lab. But first, we're going to take a video. Hi, my name is Ileana Montak. I'm from California and Poland, and 10 months ago I helped launch the first startup accelerator in Gaza. Our accelerator, Gaza Sky Geeks, helps talented youth who live in a chaotic place. These people are energetic, they're optimistic even now. They just want to do something good. They can't really influence politics, they can't travel, but they have the internet, they have computers, they have smartphones, and they want to join the global startup movement. They want to show that they can build something and contribute to the world in a positive way. We're creating a vibrant, innovative startup community in Gaza. Gazans come up to me all the time and they say things like, I want to launch the next Facebook. We're making that possible in Gaza. We've already built a great foundation. Last June, amidst 20 rockets and airstrikes a day, we ran the biggest startup weekend that we've ever run. 600 people applied, 150 were accepted, half of them were women, and the youngest participant was 13 years old. Our startup accelerator provides these entrepreneurs with the infrastructure they need to be able to launch their startups. It's a safe place with great internet and good electricity. A lot of our entrepreneurs have lost their homes, the others don't have stable electricity. But all of them want to be working on their startups right now. This place allows them to do that. للأسف في الحرب ما تمكننا إن إحنا نمارس هاي المهنة اللي إحنا بنحبها وهاي الأشياء اللي إحنا تعتبر هي مستقبلنا مستقبل البلد لكن بمجرد ما بتصير تهدئة فورا على طول نيجي من كل الأماكن في قطاع غزة لأنه عنا إيمان إنه الشغلة هاي اللي إحنا راح نمارسها هي اللي راح تطلعنا وراح تطلعنا من وسط هذا الركام. We've been trying to create a culture and a community in Gaza to make Gazans believe. Especially the, the young generation, that they can uh, create their own company and uh, their own dreams in Gaza. Uh, with all the things that happens in Gaza, like uh, the war, the siege, and everything, uh, we've been noticing that Gazans have been eager to create their company. Gazan entrepreneurs are exceptionally motivated and have uh, ideas that can certainly compete internationally. Uh, and, and I say that very confidently. Our accelerator space is modest, but its impact is incredible. And in order to keep it open, we're going to need your help. The accelerator was launched by Mercy Corps with initial funding from Google and other partners. And some of Mercy Corps' funding has to be redirected now to the humanitarian response because of all the devastation that has happened in Gaza. We bring in experts from around the world to help train people in Gaza. We've brought in Googlers, we've brought people from Microsoft, we've brought designers and venture capitalists. And in Gaza, we provide training on coding, on user acquisition, on product management. We do everything it takes to help people launch their startup successfully. <laughs> There's a bunch of investors who want to invest in the startups, and our sustainability plan is that we split the equity with them. That way, in the longer term, we can cover our own operational funding. In the short term, though, it's going to have to be philanthropic funding that launches us. When you contribute, your funding will go directly to the cost of operating the startup accelerator space. That means paying for the rent, the utilities, and the staff. We're going to want to keep our generator running until 8 p.m. so that our startups can have meetings with different time zones, including Silicon Valley. When you contribute, you'll give youth a chance to step away from the destruction all around them. Help us build a longer-term solution for Gazans and for the region. أنا اسمي إليانا مونتاك أنا أمريكية وبولندية وكنت ساكنة بالأردن كنت بشتغل مع وامدا هون قبل ما انتقلت أغزة فأول سؤال وراح يحكي بالإنجليزي عشان راح يكون أسهل إلي 
How many of you have been to Gaza? Okay, great. We have a few people. Um, how many of you knew that there was a startup accelerator in Gaza? Also a few people, great. So as you can see, the Startup Accelerator was launched three years ago with funding from Google. And we were Google for Entrepreneurs' first partner in the entire world. Since then, Google for Entrepreneurs has decided to support entrepreneurs all around the world, and we are one of their many partners. As a result of that, we don't receive the same funding any, every year, and we need to find new funding in order to be able to keep this going. Most people, when they think about Gaza, probably think about things like this. This is the border that I cross every week when I go into Gaza. This is a mural that I cross every day on my way to work. What you might not know is the opportunity that exists in Gaza. The borders might be closed and there might be a high level of unemployment, but there is a very high level of education and of passion amongst youth. We've heard from everyone that we've ever brought to Gaza that people there are more passionate, more committed, more talented than anything they've seen anywhere else in the region. And this is why Oasis 500 partnered with us last year to invest in Gaza startups for the first time. Four investments were made in our first year, two by Oasis 500. So these are some things you might not think about when you think about Gaza. This is me jumping on the beach. This is our startup weekend. Another picture from startup weekend. We might be the only startup ecosystem in the world where 50% of the entrepreneurs and the potential entrepreneurs are women. At the most recent Startup Weekend, two of the top three leading teams were led by women. As you can see, we're building a future for both men and women in Gaza, where 50% of residents are under the age of 18. So we're inviting both individuals and strategic partners to join us in this campaign. We've already raised $40,000. We launched the campaign on Monday. Our goal is to raise, uh, raise $250,000 by the end of this month and 1.5 million by January 8th so that we can give Gaza startup sector a three-year runway to support youth and to launch successful startups. Our goal is also to create publicity out of this campaign for the whole region. Something that we have noticed from our partners like Google is that the way that they view the region is often by looking at the areas that are most conflict-ridden. So people see what happens in Gaza and then they think of the whole region in that way and then we have less private investment in the region. What people don't know is that things like this are happening in Gaza and that there are private investment opportunities even in the areas with most conflict. Our entrepreneurs kept working during the conflict. We had one pitching the Silicon Valley as bombs were dropping close by and they were back at the accelerator within three days of the conflict ending. So our goal with this campaign is also to let the whole world know about the talent that is in this region and how committed everyone is. We invite you to join, and you're welcome to come speak to me after the campaign. And before I end, I just want to acknowledge the father of Gaza's startup sector, who is actually here today, Mohamed El Afrenji. Can you just raise your hands quickly? Mohammed is the person who brought Startup Weekend to Gaza. Most recently, at our most recent Startup Weekend, Mohammed uh, was the core organizer. We had over 600 youth apply for the weekend. 150 were chosen to participate, and they all participated with 20 bombs and airstrikes dropping two miles away. Thank you, Mohammed, for everything you've started. And Mohammed now lives in Jordan, and so you can talk to him about Gaza anytime you want.